Hi there, welcome to another episode here at Prof. Paul B. Today we're going to be looking at the functional requirements for assignment two. And you are required to build a super cool spy application. Obviously, um, I know many of you will be able to create a much nicer, slicker application than me. And if you do so, by all means, uh, the only thing I do have to mention and remind you is not to remove any of the functionality. You can make it spice it up, make it look better. That's fine. But we still need all of the functionality. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to lose marks. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I already preloaded uh, one mission for Johnny English and one mission for Natasha. There's none for Austin. So let's go take a look at Austin. And if we click on go, we see that the missions for Austin Powers and there are no current missions. So we'll go back home and let's go ahead and view for Johnny English. See, he's got one, rescue the queen. And let's go ahead. We notice we have these two operations that we can do. Let's click on edit. And instead of rescue the queen, we can actually say, or instead of poison cigar here, let's have exploding cigar. And I click on update mission and notice now that changed it to exploding cigar and uh, we could actually go ahead click here and click on delete and it brings us back to this view page with no current missions let's go back to home and I'm actually going to now create a mission and the mission title I will just say let's say would be uh, capture the moon so capture the moon there we go capture the moon base and we could give this one to natasha or austin actually that would be a good one for austin and gadgets could be a rocket ship and what was it the big boy <laughs> dr evil yeah dr evils yeah let me just do that dr evils ship and let's say another gadget would be, uh, what would be another gadget that he could use? A laser beam, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and create mission. And it brings me to the view missions for Austin Powers. And here we can go back home. And I wanna create another mission for Austin Powers. And let's go ahead and do, this one will be uh, capture, let's say, um, capture the White House. There we go. <laughs> okay, no politics involved, just for fun. And what would what would be some of the gadgets he could have, like a stealth, maybe a stealth helicopter or something like this. And also a uh, machine gun. There we go. Why not? Okay, now we don't create mission and now we see that this table um, you know keeps on you know building for as many missions as there are for Austin Powers so we go back home we see again we could for Johnny English there are no missions I think I took away the missions for Natasha as well oh no she still has the kill Iron Man and um, go back to home and we see for Austin Powers we can go and we see that there are two and that's about everything let me just think creating a mission you have the mission title you can select the uh, you can select the spy or the secret agent that you want and then you enter the gadgets and then you create the mission there's just one thing i do want to show you if we take a look at natasha at anyone really and if you click on edit you here notice it's edit for natasha you cannot change the um the actual spy or secret agent on the edit page you can change the title you can change the gadgets but you cannot actually change the uh, secret agent okay so it's pretty simple just a little bit of functionality creating missions and managing missions uh, these three are currently hard-coded uh, you could take you could certainly take this one step further uh, add more than one table currently there's just one table uh, in the database we'll take a look at that in a sec but uh, the requirement is just the one. If you want to take this further, make sure you've got the base working, and then you can actually take this a little bit further if you want. If you want to add this to your portfolio, for example, it would be this is a nice little project that you could 
build upon to ha actually be able to showcase. Okay, so let's take a quick look at here's here's our project. This is the data.sql, and here's where I'm creating a couple of agents. Um, sorry, a couple of missions. And uh, we also see we have a schema.sql. And let me just double click there. And here's our one table with agent title, uh, gadget one and gadget two, and an ID, very important, the ID. The one thing I wanted to, oh, let me just show you quickly uh, in our Super Spy app, if we, let me just bring it back here, sorry about that. So, sorry about zooming in so fast. So. Johnny has a, no, Johnny doesn't have any. Let's see, does Austin have any? Yeah, so if we take a look, and this is a, this is a good example to look at. Let's, if we take a look at the uh, page source, um, this, you will have to create this using Timeleaf. Notice here we have, Timeleaf is creating this dynamically, obviously. And notice here the hrefs, the slash edit mission three, slash edit delete mission three. And same with four and four. So you should, you'll have to use the path variables like we did in class for this. Okay. And, um, and that's the only thing I really wanted to show. Oh, something else is both the create mission as well as the edit mission pages. Uh, you could combine them uh, if you're really, if you're really adventurous. But uh, my requ my requirement is it, you can have two separate pages, but they should both be using form binding. And at the controller level, you should be using the model attribute coming in. I don't want I don't want you using the parameters coming in. Uh, I want you to use uh, the model attribute coming in. OK, just like we did in class. So that's about it. This is the, the application. It's not too complicated, but I think it's enough to keep you busy for a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Here's the, here's the structure. Uh, it's also on the document. So there's a mission, there's a home controller, database access, database config. And here we have the create mission, edit, index, and view mission pages. And again, we already saw the data and schema.sql. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, hope you enjoy the assignment. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Uh, go ahead and add some stuff to it. Uh, but, um, Again, make sure you have the bases covered for the, uh, for the base functionality. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon.